Thank you for joining me once again. My name is Dr. Angozi Adelaye, founder of Crunch Econometrics. In this video, I will be touching on mediation modeling. On the screen are the areas that I'm going to cover, starting with what is mediation modeling. I will show you the features of a mediation model. How does the schema of a mediation model look like? And from one of my papers where I used mediation model, I will bring out one of the analytical approaches that we used in that paper. I will also show you how we can specify a mediation model, how you can analyze a mediation model using the structural equation approach, and from your results, how you can decompose into direct, indirect, and total effects, and lastly, some diagnostics. So as you can see, these areas will be too much for me to put in a single video, so that is why I'm going to create this video into four parts. So please make sure you stay with me to watch all these parts for you to be fully informed about mediation modeling. But before I dig into mediation modeling, I need to talk about PEBA on Teachable. And what is PEBA? PEBA is simply practical econometrics for researchers, beginners, and advanced level users. I have a platform on Teachable where I host premium videos that I have curated using Stata and Evius. For you to access all these videos, in addition to free data sets, Stata do files and articles, you will require a one-time enrollment fee of $100. It is one time because there is no recurring payment. This is single, one-time, lifetime, okay? For you to access all the videos on that platform, I have over 80 premium videos. And these videos are suitable for postgraduate students because of the quality. Are you a master student, a PhD candidate? Please make sure you enroll for PEBA on the Teachable platform. These videos are also suitable for researchers across all levels, whether you are a beginner researcher or you are an advanced level researcher. You also have access to me responding promptly to your personal queries that you post on your dashboard. So what are you waiting for? I have put in the video description a link to PEBA. Click on the link and enroll today. And you can also sign up. When you sign up, you can only watch the free videos because I have some free videos on that platform. But if you enroll, you will have access to over 80 videos in addition to data sets, do files, and article. But if you just sign up alone, you can only watch the free videos without having access to other videos or access to data sets, do files, and articles. So please enroll today with $100. This is discounted from $200, okay? So $100, one-time, lifetime enrollment fee. Hope to see you on PEBA. All right, back to mediation modeling. What does this mean? A mediation model will simply aim to identify the mechanism behind the link between a regressor and a dependent variable by introducing a third variable called a mediator, all right? It explains how the regressor will influence the dependent variable through a mediating variable. So the catch word there is through. Essentially, it shows how one variable will affect another variable by acting through a middle variable or an intervening variable. A simple mediation model will have the following features. Let's keep it simple. Dependent variable Y, mediator variable M, and an independent variable X. In the simplest form, these are the features of a mediation model. Now, putting this into some perspective, I have here independent variable exercise program, mediator variable improved mode, and dependent variable reduced stress levels. So in this example, the mediation model will test whether the exercise program will reduce stress level by first of all improving the mood. It implies that improved mood will act as a mediating factor that explains how exercises can lead to a reduction in stress levels. Still on the features of a mediation model, a mediating variable will improve understanding of such a relationship because it is part of the causal sequence. And you can see the sequence here shown by the part. X will affect M and M will affect Y, such that from this example, the exercise program will first of all lead to an improvement in the mood, thereafter 
causing a reduction in stress levels. So this implies that the impact of the exercise program, which is the main regressor on stress level, is not somewhat direct, but mediated through a third variable. In other words, improved mode mediates the effect of exercise program on stress levels from this example. So on the screen, we have a schema of a mediation model. I adapted this schema from ACE 2013. If you want to know more about mediation or moderation models, I will encourage you to grab a copy of ACE 2013. To tell you how informative this article is, it has over 82,000 citations. Now, looking at this conceptual diagram, it clearly shows that X can influence Y in two ways. It can have a direct influence on Y, and it can also have an indirect influence on Y through the mediation of M, or a mediation variable. So that's the conceptual diagram. Now, for the statistical diagram, upon analyzing this model, alpha i, or ai, will be the coefficient of x when you regress m on x, and emi will be the residual from that model. When you regress y on m, beta i is that coefficient, and ey will be the residual from the regression of y on m and x okay and when you regress y on x c prime will be the coefficient so upon estimation the statistical diagram tells you how you are going to obtain your coefficients so still on this schema and explaining the coefficients in detail like i said before alpha i picks the relationship between x and m beta i picks that of m and y adjusting for x c prime Peaks relationship between X and Y while adjusting for M. The error or the residuals in the model are captured by E1 and E2 in this example. Now, you can also carve out indirect and direct effects from this analysis. For the indirect effect, all you need to do is to multiply alpha I, beta I for you to get the indirect effect of X on Y. Okay? And if you want to capture the direct effect, it's simply by C prime. So here we have the analytical framework, which we use in our paper, 2023. This paper was written by myself, Professor Azam, and Professor Bacon. And there we analyzed the mediating role of carbon emissions in the infant mortality and non-renewable energy pathway in Asia and the Pacific. And this is what we crafted as our analytical framework where we surmised that carbon emissions can mediate the impact of non-renewable energy on infant mortality rates okay and this is what we drew non-renewable energy will first of all have an impact on carbon emissions and from there carbon emissions will have an impact on mortality rates vis-a-vis -vis, non-renewable energy can also have a direct influence on mortality rate and we also have um, a vector of control variables if you are interested in reading this paper please reach out to me on research gate so that you can download the article free of charge so still on our analytical uh, model a shows the relationship between non-renewable energy and carbon emissions B shows that of carbon emissions and infant mortality after adjustment for non-renewable energy. Y C prime captures the link between non-renewable energy and mortality rates controlling for carbon dioxide emissions. The residuals from both models, E1 will be the residual from the carbon emissions model and E2 will be the residual from the mortality rate model. Again, if you are interested in this paper, please reach out to me on ResearchGate so that you can get your copy. Now, there are three major approaches to statistical mediation analysis. Number one, we have causal steps. Number two, we have difference in coefficients. And number three, we have product of coefficients. Our paper, we use the product of coefficients approach. For more on that, read up on Mackinnon 2007. Now, moving on to how you can specify a mediation model. As you can see here, I just sniped, this is a screenshot of the model that we specified in our paper. We have three models or, th or three equations. The first one is the mortality rate model or specification where we have 
energy usage as the only regressor. The second specification we have the carbon emissions model where we have energy usage as the only regressor. And for the third model we have infant mortality rates with energy and emissions as regressors in the model. So this is how you should specify your mediation model. Now, talking about the parameters of each of these models, omega in equation one captures total effects of non-renewable energy on mortality rate, okay? Alpha one in equation three represents the direct effects of non-renewable energy consumption on mortality rate controlling for the influence of carbon emissions. Alpha I, you can see right here, equation three. Now let's capture the indirect effect, which is the mediation effect. To capture that, remember we are using the product of coefficients approach. To capture that, all you have to do is multiply Nita in equation two and alpha two in equation three. Nita one is the parameter for energy usage why after uh, alpha 2 is the parameter for emissions when you multiply both it captures the mediation effect so what would be the total effect in this case total effect will not be the sub the summation or the addition of indirect and direct effects as you can see in this equation right here okay so i i said here i said um mediation effects will exist if the coefficients of non-renewable energy captured by Nita 1, okay, and carbon emissions captured by alpha 2 in equation 3 are both statistically significant. So when both coefficients are significant, then you can conclude that there is a mediation effect in your model. So to keep it simple, omega 1 will give you total effects, alpha 1 will capture direct effects, the multiplication of or the product of Nita 1 and alpha 2 we give you the indirect effect. So again, using product of coefficients approach, I'm citing Pay et al. Uh, 2019. All you have to do for the total effect is add up the indirect and the direct effects, and you have your total effects. So for more readings on moderation modeling, I have a list of references here. This is Hayes 2013. Please make sure you read this paper. Very interesting, very informative. Next is my paper where we use mediation approach. If you are interested, I'm saying again, reach out to me on ResearchGate to get a copy of the article. Pay et al. 2019 use the product of coefficient approach. You need to read more about it. Get a copy of that paper. Then McKinnon et al. 2007 and Preacher Hayes. For more information on mediation approach, please get across to these articles. So thank you so much for staying with me throughout this video. I have just simply captured an introduction to mediation modeling. My next video, I will show you how you can analyze or estimate a mediation model using the structural equation approach. So in that video, it's going to be a two-in-one for you. You are going to learn about mediation modeling, and you are also going to learn about structural equation modeling. Stay with me. Don't go away. I'll be right back. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like, give me your comments, and please kindly share this video with your colleagues and your academic network. Please don't go away. I will be right back.